Hello guys, uh, this is Haytham Ben Sliman and uh, this is the second part of the Ruby uh, object oriented programming. So in the last uh, video tutorial or lesson, I showed you how to declare uh, or define a class in Ruby and how to declare the getters and setters and how to access the value of the instance variable of an object uh, via those uh, those method which which, is, which are get name and get uh, price which are the getters and setters and after that i showed you how to you to declare the constructor which is the initialize method in ruby that allow us which is a, a constructor that will allow us to set the value of uh, the class the object um, attributes uh, directly after the new keyword uh, when we are uh, instantiating, uh, instantiating our class so now in this video today I'm going to a shortcut I'm going to show you a shortcut that will allow us to to do not uh, write those uh, set and setters and getters anymore so to do that uh, I have created a new class called category and um, so uh, I'm gonna quickly uh, create the class. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is to use the to create our initialize method, which is the our constructor. So our class category will have. I'm just going to use one. Um, just let me use two. Uh, to uh, attributes name and um, name 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 uh, I can't think of another attributes category name let me use CID category ID so um, now I'm going to create my instance variable so uh, C name will receive name and uh, add symbol and uh, uh, C cut ID cut ID will receive CID. So this is our constructor, which is the initialize method. So now um, I will show you how Ruby allow us to use uh, axe getters and setters, which are the accessors, without writing the uh, this method, which are the get name and set name. It's very easy. All you need to do is to write those to use those predefined methods, which is which are. ATTR reader. So this it's like writing a get myth, um, a set method. I don't know set or a method. So uh, it's like uh, creating a get method. So you have to write the name of your of this um, uh, method, then followed by colon and the name of your attribute. So here you have to write the name of your uh, attributes. Now I'm going to use the second one, which is ATTR um, writer. So name. You have to do uh, this for each um, for each uh, attributes of your class. Then I'm just gonna copy and paste it to use it for the second attribute, which is uh, CID. And and in the uh, so okay all and everything is done so now um, I'm going to um, just I'm gonna make it just see name so now I'm going to instantiate my class so. Um, let me just re-explain so this is how we define accessors to our attributes name so this will read and this will write it's like uh, that this this is how uh, Ruby allow us to get rid of writing this all this method to get uh, to access to our uh, instance variable so to do that all you need to do is to use this ATTR write read reader uh, func uh, method to read and uh, to get and set our uh, attributes so now I'm going to um, 
create a new uh, instance of my class so cat one sorry so cat one category dot new and uh, so sorry so category will be a uh, smart phones and uh, it will have an ID of two then uh, now I'm going to show you how this uh, function here allow us and uh, help us to get and set our uh, value of the of our attributes so now our object cat two dot CID so equal sign I'm a, and um, so sorry so I'm gonna get rid of this value here because I'm going to set them using the this function so I'm going to get rid of this constructor too so uh, I have instantiated my class here so now I'm going to set to set the name of uh, the value of my uh, category ID uh, attribute directly without using any method because we are not using um, the set name and get uh, method here so directly you have to you can use the name of your uh, object that followed by its um, name of its attributes then you can get give it a value directly and then cat to that name and I can give it um, sorry name um, smart phones so this is how we use uh, we set uh, the value of our instance variable using this uh, methods here so now I'm going to print the name of my I'm just gonna put them inside variables so um, I'm, here I'm gonna just gonna call it ID and here I'm gonna see name so put the name of the uh, category is sorry I forgot to you to add the double quotes is so interpolation um, C name and uh, its ID is interpolation um, ID so now I will run this code so as you can see here the results the name of the category is smartphones and its ID is 1 so uh, this is how we replace uh, the, the um, writing those um, l those uh, f methods for each uh, in the place of writing uh, those methods for each attributes in our class we can use those functions uh, to replace it so now uh, I'm gonna show you how to replace those two functions with one line of code to set the accessors to our um, uh, attributes so I'm going to create a new class so file I'm gonna call it uh, customer It's a Ruby file. So class customer. So the new function that uh, um, uh, Ruby allow us to use is the ATTR accessors. This function here replaces these two functions. You don't need to write. Uh, re, uh, at ATTE reader and writer for each variable for each uh, attributes all you only have to read to write this ATTR accessors followed by colon and the name of your uh, attribute so the customer will have um, the name attributes and ATTR accessors two points I'm gonna just call it age then um, now I'm going to uh, instantiate my class my class so um, cast one oh sorry so uh, customer 
one we receive customer dot new and uh, customer dot new dot name I'm gonna give it my name sorry so customer dot age so we can use this directly for example put this um, customer one dot um, sorry I have to use the value here so 24 so I can put you use this the whole line here to use it inside a puts uh, statement so customer one dot um, name and I can use it to the customer one dot age so let me see the results so as you can see here it prints this two statements print mind the name of you the first the customer and this line here prints the, the age of the customer I can put the these um, uh, these two lines here and affect them to a variable um, let me do it so C name see ch um, see so I can use it do it otherwise put uh, the name of the customer is sorry I forget I forgot the double quotes I am a little bit on the hurry here so uh, interpolation um, C name which is which your name and he is interpolation ch years years old so let's test it out and as you can see here the name of the customer is item and he is 24 years old so um let's summarize that we all have done till now so in this video i showed you how to replace uh, those function here how to replace the how how can we replace those function here by other two function which are the attr reader and writer uh, to access our uh, attributes and then i showed you how to replace those two uh, functions by just one function which is uh, ATTR accessors that will be used for each uh, attributes uh, of my class so I hope that this video uh, I hope that you have learned something from this video and uh, see you in the next lesson bye bye